Okay, we're on our Ubuntu 10.10 uh, Maverick Meerkat server once again. Uh, what we're turning into a server. And the, the last thing we did was we set up Bind9 and made it a DNS server. And now we want to make it a DHCP server. DHCP and, and DNS go together like peanut butter and jelly, hand in hand. But remember what we did last time is we gave it a static IP. Remember we said that anytime you have a, an important network service, you don't want to make it dependent upon a dynamic IP address. So again, make sure you have a static IP. And you'll also need to know the interface. In this case, again, ETH2 is the interface that's enumerated where I'm binding my IP address to. So I'll need to know that later on when I set things up. Um, if you're not sure, you can cat etc and the network folder and look at the interfaces file. And again, if this said LO, LO loopback, or if that's a DHCP instead of static, you would be you know, leasing an IP address from a DHCP server. And you want to change that and configure static settings. Now, I posted several tutorials about how to do that, so I'm not going to waste too much time in this one. But if you need to, you can view those before you view this one. That being said and that being done, I'm going to do sudo apt-get install and uh, dhcp3-server <clears throat> to install the DHCP server. And I'm going to say yes. Now I'll get an error. It'll fail because I don't have my configuration files filled out yet. So don't panic. Like the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy says, don't panic. You'll, that's normal. You'll see that until we you know, finish our configuration files. So I'm going to do uh, sudo. First one I want to change, and I'll use nano. It's a small file. It is in the etc default, and it is dhcp3-server. And what I want to do is tell it the interface. Remember a while back we said we'd need to know the interface with uh, if config. Well, it was eth2. Now remember, yours might be different, eth0, eth1, so it depends. Um, but in this case, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And that was part of the source of our error, is that it didn't know what to, it didn't know which interface or an interface to listen for DHCP discovered broadcast on, and now it does. So with that configuration file being edited, actually I'm going to use gedit for the next one, just to do things a different way. So I'm going to do an Alt F2. I'm going to type in gk sudo and gedit, and this will give me a nice, gooey, graphical, mousy, colorful, um, copy and paste and cut and pasty text editor. I'm going to go to file system, and I'm going to go to etc, and I want to go to, scroll down to dhcp3, and I want to open up dhcpd.conf. And this is the actual file that I want to configure here. There's a couple of things I want to change. First off, um, I want to set up my, you know, the option for domain name, and remember it was Ultimate, <clears throat> ultimate battlestars.com. So ultimate battlestars.com. Second, I need to set up my my name server. So my host name is Pegasus. So this will be your host name, then your domain. Ultimate battlestars.com. Woohoo! Okay, and then you can leave these as they are: the default lease time in seconds and the max lease time for you know the IP addresses that you hand out but we need to add a few more options in here to our DHCP server so I'm going to add an option in here and it's going to be the subnet mask and it's class C IP version 4 address so 255.255.255.0 for the subnet mask um, the next thing I'm going to do is the broadcast address and Syntax is a little bit different than on the client side, but option broadcast address, you know, essentially we're supplying the same information there. And 199.207.13.all bits on 255. Oops, and I almost forgot. These terminate or end with semicolons, these options here, unlike their client side counterparts. So that was the broadcast address. The next one I'm going to supply is the router or the gateway. And I'm just going to specify option and router. 
and 109, 207, 13, 1 with a semicolon. That's actually my you know, my router or my gateway address. Um, and then that's it for the options. Um, I can leave that that there as it is. Next thing I need to do is kind of specify my, the subnet and net mask, and the, I need to set up the range of IP addresses I want to give out within you know basically the the scope that I want to specify. So um, the subnet I'm going to set up, and these do not end with semicolons. 207, 13, so kind of notice the difference there. Zero, that's the particular network. So three octets are the network address, the last octet, the whole thing. Eight bits, one byte, one octet is the uh, host portion. And then I'm going to supply a net mask. And the net mask is also going to be, you know, typical default class C subnet mask 255, 255, 255, all bits on, all bits off on the last octet. And then the next thing I want to do is add some curly braces. Because within these curly braces, this is where I'm going to specify the range of valid IP addresses that I want to hand out. And it's the keyword range and 199.207.13. And remember, when we were setting up the DNS server, the method to my madness, um, I was going to start at 110. And that'll reserve nine more addresses if I want for static uh, servers that I might add to the network later. So 110 and space, that's the beginning range, and then the end range, 199.207.13. And I think 90 will suffice. And I want to end that or terminate that with a semicolon. All right, so with these options uh, added and changed and or modified, I'm going to go ahead and save this file. Save it. Exit out of gedit. And, ooh, I should have left my command prompt open. I thought I did. But let me go zoom in and zoom in and zoom in. And now I just need to restart uh, my DHCP3 server. So I'm going to do sudo and etc init.d and DHCP3 dash um, server and then restart. Just a command line option. And then let's see unknown option DHCP dot router. Oh, left off an S there. But notice how to give you some feedback there on the syntax. So let me go, let me go edit that file one more time. And I'm going to do just gksudo gedit over here. And here's my file. And let's see, router, and it should have been routers. Just one little S in my syntax. I'm going to leave it open this time, try to restart it. And I'll leave this error in the tutorial just so you can see what errors look like and how you know it will try to help you fix them. Notice where the caret's pointing, and it actually you know, gives me a line number, line 21. It's almost like a compiler. If you guys are Java aficionados, um, okay. And let me go ahead and restart. And it looks like I just had a little issue here was stopping. That's because it never really started. So if I hit my up arrow and restart again, give me two green lights or two OKs. Okay, so my DHCP server is running and listening on ETH2. Now I just need to test it. I want to see, I'll hop on a client and see if I can lease an IP address.